Having working batteries in any vehicle is important. The least expensive type of battery used in RVs and other vehicles is the wet lead acid battery. While it is less expensive, it also requires maintenance to last as long as possible. This video is about how we maintain our batteries to keep them working at peak efficiency and some of the issues that come up from using this type of battery. Our motorhome has the house batteries in the front in the same compartment as the generator. This makes for a tight fit to check all the batteries and the connections. We have six golf cart batteries in this area, three on each side. Now for starting the motor, the batteries for this are in the back next to the engine compartment. Our Saturn View Toad is much easier to access the battery as it sits right up front, but it still needs maintenance to keep the voltage up for the ECU and other electronics in the car. In the grooming van, the six golf cart batteries are in a cage under the floor. This keeps them outside and yet with easy access from the inside of the van. This helps in doing the maintenance and it also helps keep the vapors and flammable gases outside. There are two starting batteries in the front and these are also easy to get at. In total, we have 17 lead acid batteries in our vehicles. One of the issues of wet lead acid batteries is that they vent out acid vapors when being charged or during heavy discharge. This vapor causes corrosion on any metal that it contacts. So the battery connectors, the hold downs, even the battery supports will corrode, rust away as it were, if not maintained. There are ways to prevent this corrosion, but even the best methods will miss something and allow some corrosion. So the first thing I do for maintenance is to clean the batteries, the connectors, and the support structure. An important tool I use in this is baking soda and hot water. This mixes well, and when poured on the corrosion, it just melts away and neutralizes the acid from the battery. I have to make sure the battery filler caps are closed to prevent getting this mixture into the battery, as that would kill the battery. Once I have neutralized the acid, I wash the batteries down with water. This rinses the baking soda off the parts and leaves them ready to be protected. In the case of connectors, there are many choices to use for preventing corrosion. Most of the products available to prevent corrosion rely on keeping the acid or oxygen away from the metal. The one I use is really simple, bearing grease. This is readily available and does not hurt other parts and it lubricates the clamp screw. After the other parts are dry, I just paint any exposed metal to prevent corrosion on those. After washing the batteries down, the next part of maintenance is to check the electrolyte levels. The level needs to be at or just below the bottom edge of the filler tube. To do this, there are many filler devices available, but I just use a funnel that lets me control where the water is placed. Also, I only use distilled water for batteries. And when you consider that it's less than a dollar at Walmart for a gallon, most of the time, I'll use less than one gallon to service the 12 golf cart batteries. So it's cheap. It doesn't contaminate the electrolyte. How often to maintain batteries is something that really depends on your batteries, how you use them, and how they are charged. 
For our batteries, I inspect them every month or two, then service them all when any one of them needs to be cleaned or needs water. This seems to work well for us. Our batteries have been lasting quite a while. Thanks for watching our video. If you like what you see, press the like button below and subscribe. And also check out our other videos.